2008, Child's Play came out and it was a pretty big success. After that, Child's Play 2 came out. Truman is good. Part 3 came out. Pretty good. Honestly, we were wondering, we are thinking that it's the end of Chucky and everything like that. Then, Bride of Chucky came out. That's when things turned into a turn for the worst because honestly, it seems like... Pretty much it seems like he had a, a girlfriend who knows a lot about witchcraft <clears throat> and things like that. Then, Cedar Chucky came out with this guy named Shitface and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with his face and everything? But honestly, it turned out to be a good thing and then after that, it's like... It's not like they just took a break after Cedar Chucky. Because when it came down to the aftermath of the ending, it seemed kind of like a bit of a weird ending because... Somebody melted his hand to the shit face and then grabbed his ass. I'm like, what the fuck? What, on, what the hell going on here? And then next thing you know, Curse of Chucky comes. I'm like, okay, so this is how all, pretty much the first ever family that he was actually with. And this is mainly why he got shot, which actually does a little bit tell the story, but not too much. But this story didn't have much of a comedy with it. Because when it came down to Curse of Chucky, it mainly had more of a horror type look within it. Than an actual comedy type thing, which the directors actually explain because they say it's more 80% more horror and only 20% comedy. I'm like, okay, it still does its job. It's not like a remake, it's just a reboot. And honestly, we're waiting to see something like this. It had the person, I forgot what his name was. Pretty much, it had the person who played the voice of Chucky, his daughter actually played in it, and she was playing in a wheelchair. And truth be told, it was pretty damn awesome. Honestly, I didn't even know it came out, honestly. So, truth be told, I didn't receive no news, no nothing that was coming out. And next thing I know, I think my friend's sister told me that it came out. And honestly, I looked at the DVD. And truth be told, this is a movie that I would watch pretty much like, I don't know how many times I've seen it. I've seen it probably 10 or 20 times, maybe. I, I doubt it was 20 times, but it's it's around 10. I can tell you that much. It's somewhere probably most likely over 10. But I've seen this movie multiple times. And every single time, I say it was pretty damn good because... For one thing, the one main error with it is that when the girl knocks his head off with the axe and he doesn't bleed. That's really it. That's really the only fucking scene in it. But other than that, pretty good. But now, 2017, most likely going to come out probably around October or November somewhere. But the cult of Chucky is supposed to come out. And guess who's going to be in it? Pretty much because at the ending of um, Curse of Chucky, the person who played Andy from the first two movies... It's going to be in this one. Because truth be told, I wonder what happened to him. Because in part three, we all know, knew that that was in the original Andy. Because I'm like, how the hell did he grow up so fast? I mean, seriously. He went from a kid who's in elementary school to a person who looked like he's going into high school. So I knew that that was in him. But he returned in this movie because in the ending of Curse of Chucky, all you see is when Chucky comes out the box, you see him going with a little shot and say, he said, Andy, bam. I'm like, oh shit, Andy's in this shit. <laughs> and he turned out to be at the ending, and I'm like, whoa, that was funny. It was interesting, but funny. And I'm like, okay, so what's going to happen here? Because the next one of Cult of Chucky, he's supposed to be in this movie. And I can't wait to see it, because they said, I don't know if it's going to come out in theaters or not. Because truth be told, they said it's going to come out on DVD, Blu-ray, and VOD, which is video on demand, because I did not know that. But it's coming out on that too. But I don't know if it's going to come out in theaters. Because because um, Curse of Chucky did not come out in theaters. That's why I didn't even know about it. Until my friend told me about it. And when she told me about it. I'm like oh that's very interesting. I got to see about this. And it turned out it was true. So when this movie comes out. You better believe I am going to pretty much be following this movie. Close as I can. Because they just started actually filming it. Because they said they're going to film it in January. Which is this month. They start filming this month. So I'm like okay let's see. What you guys can come up with. Because honestly. Andy's supposed to be in it. Chucky. His girlfriend. Because she showed up at the inning too. Chucky's girlfriend. I believe her name was. Um, Tiffany. She showed up in it too. Sorry that took me so long. Honestly. I, I don't know why I'm thinking of. Tim. 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 Tamara. For some reason. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking about that one was. But anyways. When it comes to Child's Play. Though. These movies actually make it more interesting. Because. It's the one movie that I know. That did not change at all. Because when I looked at Friday the 13th. The remake sucked. When it came to um, Night on Elm Street. Definitely sucked. Halloween. It was okay honestly. I can say that they could do a third movie to that one. Because mainly because the main person who actually did the remake. Was a person who was in the horror movie type franchise. Which was Rob Zombie. But when it comes to Child's Play. It seems like. Well. 
it wasn't really a remake, mainly a reboot. Because honestly, they see that, well, they should reboot this series, this uh, movie, because it left off on a cliffhanger. Seriously, I mean, seriously. I don't know what happened to Shitface. I don't know what, or whatever his name is, or her name is. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure about that one, honestly. But when it comes down to everything, when it came down to this, I'm thinking to myself, this is pretty awesome. I mean, seriously. I'm looking at this this uh, movie, and I'm going in with high expectations. Because how the trailer went, it showed every single one of Child's Play, honestly, from Child's Play 1 to 2 to 3 to Bride of Chucky to Cedar Chucky to, and I believe Curse of Chucky, I think they showed that one too. I, it wasn't really that long of a commercial, honestly, well, trailer. It was pretty much less than a minute, so yeah, it was pretty awesome. So, I honestly thought that when it comes down to this, I'm not very sure if this is going to be the last one. I'm not very sure, because... And they're doing a lot of reboots. They may not. They want may want to keep a low key on it. But uh, when it, I would say that it should get a lot more recognition than it than it already does. Because when it comes to child's play, it was one of the biggest thrillers and horror movies that I ever known of. Besides the ones I just named, which is Halloween, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Friday the Thirteenth. Those are the main ones I was looking at. But when it came to child's play, it came out in pretty much when I was born. And um, when I when I actually first saw it, I got far, I got scared. Part one, two, three thought it was pretty good. When four came out, I didn't know how the hell they were gonna actually do that because truth be told, he was cut up by that fucking fan. Because I'm like, okay, he's dead. He is dead. They ain't making no more child's way. He is dead. And then when they made Bridal Chicken, I'm like, what the fuck? So they so you're telling me that this woman can literally put his soul back into that doll's body, but at when when Cedar Chucky came out, he didn't want to go back into a human's body. He's like, well, humans get sick, they die, they grow old, all this other shit. I'm like, yeah, true, that's how humans are, that's plus humans. But, um, yeah, when he said, he's like, I'm glad to be a serial killer. It is not an addiction. It is, I did this by choice. And he accepted that. Pretty much he had a uh, epiphany. He awakens himself. Pretty much he always wanted to be back in a human's body. But now he's like, no, I don't want to be back in a human's body. I really don't really give a fuck about being in a human's body. And in this movie of Curse of Chucky, it seems like Tiffany's going to be helping him kill. And she's going to be protecting him. Well, maybe because he's a fucking doll. So, but the thing is, Chucky, is, he's really quick and hard to find. So, that's what he got for him. Not only that, but he doesn't die that easy. I mean, that motherfucker, he can survive anything. I don't... I'm not very sure on what can kill Chucky, truth be told. I'm not very sure on what could kill him. So, the only the way I can say probably kill him is to probably put him in a pool of acid. That's mainly all I can actually think of. That probably, that, or melt his ass. Put him in some fire. Because I haven't seen them do that. But, again, again, I can't wait for this movie to come out. Something tell me it's going to come out. Somewhere around when, probably when fall ends and winter begins. Or probably around November, or maybe hopefully my birthday. But I'm hoping it doesn't be that late. I'm hoping it's not in December anywhere. I'm hoping it's around November or October. Because if this is October, that'll be a that'll be a pretty damn good month for it to actually come out. Because it's gonna be near Halloween at that time. And if it comes out during that month, I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is a good fucking Halloween present. Honestly, having Cult of Chucky coming out during that time. I don't care if it's not. I'm not. I don't really care if it's brought out on Halloween. But as long as it's brought out near that time of month. Like somewhere around the end of September or pretty much anywhere in October. If it comes out during that time, I will fucking slow. I will like, yes, this is cool. This is ultimately awesome. A horror movie of a reboot of Child's Play actually coming out during Halloween time. That'd be cool. But that's all I got to say for now. You can like me or subscribe to me or comment below what you think. And I will see you guys in another review. Peace.